When you're admitted to a hospital, they give you a white wristband with your name on it. But there are other differently colored wristbands which symbolize other things, like the red wristbands. Those are placed on dead people. There was once a surgeon who worked on night shift at a school hospital. He'd just finished an operation, and he was on his way down to the basement. He entered the elevator, and there was just one other person there. He casually chatted with the woman while the elevator descended. When the elevator door opened, another woman was about to enter. When the doctor slammed the close button, and punched the button to the highest floor. Surprised, the woman reprimanded the doctor for his rudeness, and asked why he didn't let the other woman in. The doctor said, That was the woman that I just operated on. She died while I was doing the operation. Didn't you see that red wristband she was wearing? The woman smiled. She raised her arm, and she said, Something like this. A young girl walking home from school found a small pile of Polaroid photos lying in the gutter. There were twelve of them, neatly wrapped up in a rubber band. She picked them up and started to browse through them as she walked home. The first photo was that of a ghostly white man on a black background. He was standing just far enough away from the camera so that she couldn't make out his features. The girl slid the photo to the back of the stack and looked at the next one. The photo was of the same man, now standing just a bit closer. The girl flipped through the next several photos quickly. With each one, the man in the pictures came a bit closer, and his features were a bit clearer. Turning the last corner to her house, the girl noticed that the man in the photo seemed to be looking at her, even when she moved the stack from side to side. It frightened her, but she kept flipping them over, one by one. By the eleventh picture, the man was so close that his face completely filled the frame. His expression was the most horrifying thing the girl had ever seen. Walking up the driveway, she turned to the last photo. And this time, instead of an image, there were two words. Ah! Hearing a scream outside their house, the girl's brother rushed to the door and opened it. But all he saw was a pile of photographs lying on the doorstep. The top one looked oddly like an extremely pale version of his sister. But she was standing too far back for him to be sure. 